hello let me continue where i stopped last time now please have a look at the picture i have here can you see now we come to several notices exotica so this one is a probably it is actually a kitchen and meat thermometer now it is used extensively due to the big accuracy here let us say you wanted to make some other equipment which is a little sophisticated but use a similar thing you can always cannibalize all these items it does not cost anything the costliest thing costs maybe around uh, in India no the equivalent around uh, 20 US dollars that is around uh, probably 2000 rupees and I am sure uh, if you look around you can get it cheaper. The important things you can notice here is first thing is the display with the keys. If you want you can use all the keys you see here that some of the keys no, are not very very useful and the more important thing is this probe. In this case probe display and at the back there is a device to hold the power supply. You can just open them take pictures make one is to one things and that you can use in any one of your uh, other things. Let us say you wanted to make a temperature measurement device which measures the ambient temperature when you are around you need not buy it you have this and all you have to do is just take it out let one part of it come out. And if you remember I showed you the I am not sure whether it is a Arduino board or uh, that uh, Bigel board or whatever it is. I said some part of it may be getting hot I need a fan and then I said I need a heat dissipator. So, when the heat dissipator fan everything is there I can probably even dis disable this whole uh, I am sorry disassemble this whole uh, probe and attach it to one of those things and get a signal somewhere and then try to utilize it for the first prototype model. For all this uh, little bit of jugglery it is enough if you just start and then go ahead and uh, start things. Now coming back here I glossed over a few of the things there. You need to make as I said a library of various components a standard library will have probably just listing of all of the thing as a bill of materials. Now, we come to interesting things like this you see in here I am not very sure to me it looks like an N connector and I do not know if it is just a N uh, socket and uh, plug together or one side it is N and the other side it is an RC or anything. If I have several of the devices taken from a catalog followed no I have several of these devices taken from a catalog I will see that when we talk about a N connector and when we talk about a TNC or we talk about a various uh, type of thing only the interface standard is the main thing which is talked about but the mechanical things vary a lot. Some of them you have a flange here which is fitted to a, a panel and the connection itself some of them are just straight some of them have a bayonet mount meaning you press and you lock it inside all these various details are not easy to pick out from a standard uh, what you call data given by the manufacturer. And even if you file all the drawings together going through the file and looking for our thing no looks crazy instead get the original if you can if you cannot get the original make a drawing with all the 3 views including a 3 day view make a scale print out and keep the scale print out with you moment you take the scale printout with you with all the 
various things which are cut there. We can instead of keeping the component there, you can keep them here and happily play a little bit of how to put the jigsaw puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle is made such that no one piece does not go into the other piece even if it goes the whole scene will be wrong. So, you have a reference scene and you put inside uh, symmetrical jigsaw puzzles most of the pieces look same however starting from four corners and uh, some reference you can nest it. In our case our jigsaw puzzle has multiple scenarios which it can project. I have a scenario in which some, some of the devices are in one corner or I have just shown you one photovoltaic panel which is flexible. I have a flexible photovoltaic uh, film. So, that uh, flexible film can be either made like this or it can go on top of it or if I had shown you the what do you call a remote control, why not have a photovoltaic uh, device which is directly the when you leave it on the outside of the table on a flat surface, it can happily oh, wait my hearing aids and uh, you can happily allow it to charge all the time. You have seen that what looked like a small uh, photo film is a full fledged flexible photovoltaic panel. Now, I have all the latitude available for me for rearranging all the things together pieces of the original jigsaw in some other way by which which results in a completely different product. The product may be generic, but my calling this at this instance I can claim an IP on it. So, I am sure you two would have seen JBL uh, charge to what you call uh, players and all that there are any number of clones are available, but we know clone is not as good as the original, but at least in the picture things look same. So, it is with the three apples I am sure all of you have heard about the three apples that change the thing No, first uh, what you call uh, apple in the garden of Eden and then the next two apples I think all of you people know the poor thing which fell on one of the scientists and lastly one entrepreneur who changed the way we think about it. And you will be surprised even when the first apple computer was made the whole thing was assembled together using foam core boards the design was uh, done like the same thing with HP and eventually even now see a lot of uh, mobile uh, these things and applications and if you have can easily be simulated using your home printer what you have at home. So, let me quit this thing and then try to get back a little deeper and see what I have here. Yeah, I think most of them I have covered. Uh, huh, these are some things which we hate or hate to love. You cannot get rid of an, uh, an equipment without a switch of some sort and sadly neither these connectors. While there I spoke to you about a type N coaxial connector, these are the the unfortunate connectors we end up with the computers, unfortunate connectors we end up with our phones that is uh, our uh, 6 and 8 pin uh, RJ series of uh, connectors and they occupy space. And while the, the connector interface itself while the interface itself has been standardized what goes in and the way it takes a turn and where it sits on the printed wiring board and how it jots out. Does it go into the printed circuit board or does it go into the enclosure and how is it wired 
do we end up with all this funny type of wiring and this horribly colored stiff uh, things coming everywhere and then we have something else and finally, what about all this hardware? All this of course, I also understand that it works best if you have it actually in 3D, but getting it into a shape and getting it 3D printed in an economical way is not easy. So, I can go back to the that uh, 3D what do you call I am sorry uh, printed thing now see this here something have you noticed first of all you are forced to keep the prints vertical the layout process is vertical and due to some unfortunate uh, this thing if you attempt to close all these things and then you end up with the problem of how to either assemble the circuitry inside or the printer usually has a build up material and that a lot of time is required for you to release the hold and uh, holding and support material inside. So, what looks like a very automatic very easy way of uh, you know converting why do not we just uh, do 3D printing, why do not we just do laser uh, cutting and all that still has serious limitations and all of them have the main final thing of having to design very very carefully about it. While I have talked to you about it now let me get back to this again this sheet. You have seen this it looks very neat hmm? it goes in cute here and everything looks uh, honky dowry. I do not know what it means how do you pronounce it uh, pardon me for the this thing heavily accented. What you need is you notice here there is a thickness of this material and the thickness of this material seem to be critical in determining what is the depth of this cut. If the cut is more than the thickness of the material it does not uh, you know stain somewhere or other there will be interference and if the depth here is not completely meshed to this you will have a item which is not as neat as it looks it looks neat that is all I can tell in the hand it looks neat, but you see here it does not really sit that well as we imagine it does. It does here intentionally I mean uh, my colleague is holding it he has made it uh, pop out and sometimes we do the mistake of building a dow tail into it. You see the problem let us say I try to make a dow tail I think uh, those of you who are typically woodworkers would have noticed how dow tail sometimes leads us to a problem a dow tail works best if both of these are on the same plane. Otherwise you cannot have effort to have a dow tail with only straight cuts I can have a dow tail here to match the dow tail here this must have a slope here. So, you end up having to probably print these things separately and this as I said I was trying to tell you about it No, I have a dow tail here. So, one of these usually the projecting uh, part will have a taper this side now corresponding to this I have to give a taper here. So, I have to make this equal to this width and then after I take it out and fit it manually file it and uh, try my best to fit it once the dow tail is in place then the whole thing is stable right now this is not in a very stable state if one of them is disturbed the whole thing will pop out. For these things still a little skill in model making little skill in thinking forward is needed and all things can best be done if first time you make something on a small scale preferably with the resources you have here. So, we assume that all this you know nicely is centered 
looks nice is it not we have something here we have something here a night leg goes here and uh, this thing but first thing you will notice is things do not automatically center themselves. We would have ignored a thickness build up here and this part may have got its datum referred to somewhere else and the printed wiring board on which the components are mounted may have had a different datum with this usually on the z axis there will be an error sometimes up to a thickness of one of these sheets. All these shortcomings can easily be worked out here and even if you give a file to somebody and by the time you come it comes out you will notice that there is a error and you will be thinking oh I missed it and you are back. You would have sent your file you got your job back and then you will notice that oh I wish I noticed it then. Okay. Other option is like what I am been suggesting is make something out of with your normal printer put it on a cardboard the whole thing now pass it on to a next level of a serious hobby is so concentrate on packaging or give it to the model maker who will understand what it is you wanted. So, if you look at my thing here by experience I would like to tell you that this is a little recessed we are feeling very pleased about it that is a little recess. Then we notice that matching uh, plug does not go into that opening as a small something is blocking the way because the interface has been made uh, standard, but not the hardware and that was made such that when it is flush or with a specified gap of 0.8 mm everything sits comfortably inside. So, we had to redo the whole thing. So, it does it does take a little bit of time and uh, this of course, is uh, I expect the student was very very keen on making a thorough job of it. So, I am a little happy and uh, he or she has gone to the thing saying I will also give a rounded edge here because it is easy for me to do. So, I am happy now this can easily be probably you know you can take pictures of it and uh, post it and the other side manufacturer will easily fabricate a piece like this and get back to you. A near perfect fit, near perfect ok, uh, but while uh, we are quite happy the way this whole thing has uh, come from the shop, uh, when we had to use it we found that there is a small misalignment and the trimmer tool uh, screwdriver or something what we had was not going in easily in that. So, then we thought oh I wish we made a hole bigger and so on like that no this thing can be sorted out at our level. Now, I will try to go up this is the drawing of I think it is a 2 by 20 backlighted uh, LCD display. You cannot really make out much by looking at the drawing. I know there are dimensions and added to it to if it happens to be a generic drawing saying we have two or three variants in it you will notice that sometimes we are expected to look here and then look at a table to see which variant is what is needed. So, many of these things you know and then uh, so many stuff is there saying and so on. Imagine now if we have to take a print out of this make it one to one 
you understand no take a print out make it one to one probably even laminate it and keep it along with your thing any time you can move it around on your uh, layout sheet and you know where we stand. So, the actual display is probably this one uh, where is it where is it yeah. This is where I thought I will add the thing. So, if you can get an actual display or you can find out from an equivalent thing and you can make a just make a copy of this scale it if required and very important feature is the alignment of the visible window to the with respect to the mounting holes. If you have all these things two things you can do this whole thing can be used directly on your computer screen for arranging things later on to be on the safe side because we have two tabs here meant for soldering and I am not very sure what is it at the thing most likely it is a driver which is sitting on the other side this may be some power supply this may be the thing which is required to connect a, a port to drive all these uh, what you call dot matrix display. So, even if you are to make the full thing in a full fledged 3 D software you need to input all these details and our bad luck is if it is a generic display you understand no you got it from one place which is generally somebody will give you a compatible device. Compatible device often either the mounting holes are compatible or sometimes only it is an electrically compatible device saying if you connect it to that uh, particular card or uh, another what you call display driver it works. Mechanical things there is always that small print on it not improvements are possible and we are continuously improving the product. When you try to continuously improve the product first thing that goes for a toss is the dimensions. So, going out you remember I just showed you that uh, <laughs> haha I am here. I am not sure what exactly it is, it is probably that same thermometer. Why I am saying it is a thermometer is you see here this is the side of the case where it it you know plugs in here and then this whole thing is the top of it and then most critical you have seen here after everything is done still there is a long cable here because this particular uh, that uh, probe probably needs a four wire measurement and in the case of a four and then added to that it is a coaxial element. I do not know whether it is actually the tip of the probe uh, they have a p n junction or uh, it is actually any of the thermocouples and so on. And this is where the display sits you have seen that no and display is having four mounting holes. So, what looks like a very elegant nice product once you open it it is not I cannot say it is good or bad but still it has a bit of you know uncertain uh, things around. All these things can probably be made out easily. Now, you see here this this is a connector and then we have a display and then there is very thin uh, this thing by I do not know how it makes a contact it goes and sits there and the power is taken from there. Most important is this is a very ancient way of and an inexpensive way of making buttons. See here we have 3 I am sorry 1, 2, 3, 4 contact arrangement. So, you have one uh, either high and low or A and B and then we have a elastomer contact and the whole thing goes here. So, 
all this thing will probably be easiest if you can try to make things at best as you can. Once it is ready then the mold maker or the plastic designer can improve on this. in this. So, we have something which is holding together and I am sure what most of us hate is probably this spring and something very you know very unreliably which is you know put here and then there is something else here and then uh, this plate this is the usually the positive has a dimple here then the negative portion has this spring because a small variation possible and this is the tricky part that whole thing is supposed to go here simultaneously matching this display these keys and all that. So, that obviously is a specialist the packaging person's job. So, while these are very they call uh, sold in large numbers at a low price most of the projects which you do probably take take care of this by taking a display from somewhere and uh, probably a keyboard and a generic uh, they call a microcontroller uh, type of a device some generic power supply arranging all the items together and later on at the next stage now you can go to the person who makes these uh, things. So, I think it is worth it if now have a look at this thing <laughs> not easy no this big black blob is the actual processor which seems to do everything including take a measurement of the device wherever the tip of it and also parse the keys here saying what is it that the keys are asking you to do and eventually display it and it has other various other things and things which we do not like at all like there is a buzzer here there is no simple way of connecting that uh, you know the buzzer to this. Uh -huh. I showed you already. Uh, I will get back to it nothing this is the what I call the 3 d printer what we have. I thought I will show you these things these are typically R F uh, and uh, microwave uh, devices. So, you will see here they to use special type of connectors this is probably that SMA type of connectors and we have this thing see another problem in this places here is the moment you are going at uh, microwave frequencies layout is extremely critical and you end up with multiple antennas and then in this no you have so many of this all this stuff which goes around like this and I think that is a load cell and somebody is trying to demonstrate it's in this something which is very very interesting and important for you to note especially if you are one of those electronic technical people very carefully they have shown you a breadboard probably it is the old wish breadboard and saying on the breadboard you have this many interconnections and so on you have a something which is shown here I am not sure what it is and there is a with a variable LED backlight meaning you can increase and decrease the thing and the most important thing is the whole thing is printed on a yes in this background is a school block book. So, you have a circuit diagram here this is the main uh, this thing. So, you can see probably VCC ground and so on and the whole thing is neatly. So, we have a basic schematic diagram converted into a working what you call circuit and finally, it is driving a display and all these things in this case now because this, this seems to be only on how to run the display various types of 
sensors inputs have not been shown here the sensors and inputs and you know intercommunication to the outside world and all that no have not been shown here so this is how exactly our uh, things go on now i'll get back to a real life product so what could this be i am sure you may have seen this in at various shopping places this of course is taken from the display persons thing so you have a, as part of any product obviously you have all this and it is not your uh, business your business is only trying to make the display in this case it looks like the customer end display attached to a cash register or uh, something these things are very very easy for you to go ahead and try to make a first model and then go and you can make a presentation to somebody and you can probably get going and if you are uh, and if the time for idea has come right you can make a unique product which has your own ip and probably you can get a design registration and make a presentation to somebody who will take you to the next level because finally everything involves scale and everything involves a niche so if you find a niche and you can find that your product fits into this before you commit huge amount of resources by way all that uh, those things i do or make a very crude uh, thing saying i i have all this in a shoe box and then i'll show you not many people will be impressed by it so i'm i wish you that you know you get into this uh, i'll stop this particular uh, presentation this time at this point uh, we'll go on to a new topic next time so thank you